I'm Todd Starkweather. I'm a teacher and an incoming board member of the Chesterfield Education Association. In light of the recent protests around the nation expressing outrage over the killing of George Floyd, I want to let all communities in Chesterfield know that I and all of CEA remain committed to anti-racism. We will advocate for our students, parents, teachers, and staff of color through our words, actions, and policies, because Black Lives Matter. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel West, and I am one of the CEA members at large for the Clover Hill District. I am deeply saddened by recent events. I can no longer stand alone nor remain silent. We must come together to support communities of color, and we must stand up for our student safety. As teachers, we cannot uphold the status quo, and we must commit to molding a better world for our students. Hi, my name is Peter Berenger, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors of the Chesterfield Education Association. To all of us affected by the death of George Floyd, we hear you, we feel your pain, we demand justice, and these injustices have to stop. Your union stands with you in this time with outstretched arms. Be safe. My name is Erin Dilday, and I am the incoming member at large for the Clover Hill District and a teacher at Evergreen Elementary. In these dark and difficult times, it is important that I stand with the CEA and their clear and unequivocal commitment to fight for and ensure the equal rights and treatment for people of color and the disenfranchised within our community. As educators, we have the opportunity, the privilege, and the responsibility to affect growth and positive systemic change within our institution. Black Lives Matter. I'm Christine Melendez, the Matoka District Member at Large for the Chesterfield Education Association. Nelson Mandela once said that no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. As a Latinx high school Spanish teacher, I am committed to teaching my students to love, not only themselves, but to love one another based on the content of their heart and not by their skin color. As a CEA member, I am committed to also teaching my colleagues and other educators around the world to love. And out of that love, we hope to create the change that will provide equality and reparation for the injustices that people around the world, but especially here in the United States, have faced because of the color of their skin. Black Lives Matter. My name is Megan Bentley, and I am a CEA board member and elementary school teacher. I struggle to find the words in the face of continued police violence against people of color. As many coworkers in my school have been asking aloud this week, is my student next? As teachers, we care about our students and their families, even when they leave our buildings. We commit ourselves to fighting for equality for all of our community members of color so that they and our students might see a day when they don't have to fear. Black Lives Matter. Hello, my name is Sonia Smith, and as president of the Chesterfield Education Association, I come to you on this day with a heavy heart. Check on your colleagues. Check on your friends. Check on your neighbors. And I don't mean the ones that you're comfortable in speaking with, the ones that you typically don't and may not necessarily look like you. A lot of what we have witnessed over the past few days has been emotionally draining. It's been a roller coaster. It's violent. It's visceral. And yeah, some may even say it's divisive. But now is the time to begin to have those hard conversations about race, about justice, 
and about equity in our school division, in our community, and in our country. Many of you that are members will be receiving an email from me in the next 24 to 48 hours with resources to provide you all with the tools and tips that you need to help to begin having these hard conversations. Each of us comes to the table with a different set of perspectives. Each of us comes to the table with something different to share. Be willing to share, be willing to listen, and be willing to just simply be in that uncomfortable space because it is out of discomfort that we actually begin to grow together in solidarity. Thank you.